Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. I want to apologize uh, right off the bat, pun intended, uh, that I am under the weather. I do not feel very good, but I wanted to still bring you some uh, kind of interesting news um, out of the Toys Wonder Wonderland camp. Um, if you've been following uh, the collectible world, you know that there's been some controversy, customer service issues, um, and things like that. And so I wanted to uh, share this update from them. This was uh, on their Facebook post, um, and they you know, they, they put it all out there. Um, so I'm curious as to how you guys feel about this. Um, if you've been a customer of theirs in the past, or if you are still waiting for merchandise. Um, but I'm just going to read this to you again. It's a little lengthy, so uh, I do apologize. Um, it says, dear customers established in 2019, our company's humble beginnings can be traced back to our own home's rooftop. The immense support we've received from global collectors over these short four years has propelled us to where we are today. Our journey has seen us move from that rooftop to a 300 foot square foot office and eventually to a sprawling 10,000 square foot warehouse. In this time, Toys Wonderland has experienced significant growth. However, with this rapid expansion came unforeseen challenges. Our swift growth, growth outpaced our preparedness, leading to a my myriad, 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 myriad of problems. These issues resulted in dissatisfaction among our collectors and concern we are earnestly striving to address. We're immensely grateful for the patience and support shown by our collectors during this period and we're committed to learning from these experiences and improving our service moving forward. Um, so basically they're saying that they're, they, they grew a little bit too big for their britches too fast and they're not able to keep up. Um, addressing customer service concerns over the past year, we've recognized that our customer service has been a concern for many of our collectors. Um, as mentioned earlier, our rapid growth outpaced our ability to maintain the quality of our customer service, leading to slower response times than we've traditionally upheld. To address this, we have brought on a significant number of new staff to our company to meet the growing demand we've also started. Uh, discussions with tech firm, uh, with a tech firm earlier this year about the possibility of utilizing artificial intelligence for customer, customer response. Unlike typical chatbots on the uh, market, our aim is to use a system that can answer common customer inquiries, inquiries um, you know, in an efficient manner. Um, we anticipate this AI customer service will be launched in the near future. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, I think I'd rather just talk to a real person, you know. Um, in addition, we are planning to establish a t telephone inquiry service within the next six months. Customers will be able to call our company during specified hours to inquire about their order status. We hope that these measures will uh, alleviate the current issues. We've uh, always been actively improving our customer service, striving to provide the best service experience for our customers. We appreciate your understanding and continued support as we work toward these improvements. Um, addressing shipping and uh, order management concerns, our marketing department has also been aware of complaints on social media about delayed deliveries and missed orders. As mentioned earlier, our growth has exceeded our initial projections and we acknowledge that our previously largely current approach uh, in order management has been lacking in efficiency. We have already begun discussions with various technology companies about implementing warehouse management systems to streamline our entire shipping process. Uh, we anticipate a significant improvement in our order fulfillment and delivery process in the near future. Um, of course, that doesn't help anybody that's still, uh, you know, still frustrated with it. Still not getting orders, of course. Um, pre-order and special batch pre-orders. We've noticed that many of our customers are keenly interested in the status of their pre-orders or their orders. We uh, want to reassure those who have pre-ordered products that your orders will be fulfilled and you will be and you will have your delivery uh, in orders to you. And we'd like to take this opportunity to explain about our special batch pre-orders as we offer these products at more competitive prices than the market. We use sea freight services for transportation. So the waiting time for these goods and uh, is longer than regular products. We have been progressively shipping these special batch products to customers. If you have not yet received your order, we kindly ask for your continued patience. So suck it up is what they're saying, basically. Uh, you know, it's just gonna, you're just gonna have to wait. Um, we are committed to providing you with the best possible service and appreciate your understanding and patience as we work to fulfill our orders. Now, they also go into Justin's collection. So Justin uh, has been a supporter of theirs. They've kind of worked together for a long time. <clears throat> um, but apparently that, that relationship is now severed, uh, according to various social media posts. And it says, finally, we'd like to express our deepest gratitude to Justin's collection for their unwavering support over the last four years. In the beginning, both of us were relatively unknown. 
And without your help and support, our company would not have been able to reach where we are today. Um, I think that's cool that they acknowledge that. Uh, thank you frequently for staying up to date, uh, to staying up late to create content for us. We are especially grateful for the numerous times you personally traveled to Hong Kong to educate our team about the professional knowledge of e-commerce you gained from your past work. So that's interesting. Um, I also want to apologize for the emotional distress caused by customer service issues over the last year. Your unwavering support and patience have not gone unnoticed, and we are committed to making improvements to ensure a better experience moving forward. I sincerely hope that your channel will flourish in the future, uh, becoming the top toy channel globally. And now our commitment moving forward. Lastly, uh, we wish to assure that all of our customers who have supported us throughout this journey that we will not let you down. We are open to all feedback and criticism, and we will strive to improve to make necessary changes. Our goal is to once again become your first choice the online shop you love most for purchasing toys. Uh, we appreciate your continued support and patience. Um, so they just kind of keep repeating that. So um, I'm just basically going to turn it over to you guys. Um, does this, if you're a customer of theirs, have waited and haven't had good customer service, does this make it better? Um, are you optimistic that they are trying to do the right thing? It sounds like they certainly are. Um, However, you know, sometimes it's a little too late sometimes um, if you take advantage of the customers for too long. So I, I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, it's an interesting topic for sure. And uh, again, I do apologize for my, my cold. I am certainly run down, but I definitely wanted to give you that um, information because uh, I know some of you are uh, customers and are ordering six scale things. So again, let me know what you guys think about this topic. Um, are you concerned? Does it... Uh, you know, make things feel better for you that they're coming out and talking about all this stuff. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Um, thank you guys very much for watching today. Again, uh, just interesting stuff. Um, also, they announced John Constantine, uh, the one third scale from John Constantine from Prime One Studios canceled. That's been breaking news today. Um, interesting stuff. Got a live unboxing for you guys this week as well. Batman Triumphant. So stay tuned. Otherwise, thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so. I'm going to go take a nap, and I'll see you in the back cave. Bye, everybody. Hey, guys. Pardon the interruption, but I want you to check out these awesome new gaming chairs. This is from eWin Racing. Absolutely incredible chair, and this is one of my sponsors here on the channel. I cannot recommend this chair enough it is absolutely fantastic and really well built it holds up to 400 pounds and again it is just an awesome awesome chair lots of bells and whistles with this one if you use code batman at checkout you can save 20 percent. so the link is down below in the description definitely check them out i think you're really going to enjoy the chair again 20 percent off at checkout with code batman i just cannot recommend this chair enough heavy duty really really well made awesome awesome chair from eWin Racing. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.